Hey guys, so this is uh, my new project. I'm gonna head and bought another uh, IMAX B6 from a friend of mine. Um, and I started using it to charge more batteries. And right now I'm kind of doing a quick experiment with using uh, the balance charging feature, which is right here on the side. Uh, it's the first time trying it, and so far so good. And so this is what I was gonna show you real quick. Right, hold the camera still. This is what it looks like um, as it's about ba uh, truly balancing these four cells right here. And hopefully uh, I can get it to work out pretty well. I have some good numbers off those cells, but we'll see. So that's the amperage here that it's charging, putting the charge into, and this is the voltage it's trying to get to right here. And this is the time so far in milliamps that it's uh, used to try and charge it. So, and as right here, you can see I've got the 4S, uh, which is the four cells listed there. So I think this bank that I'm in now goes up to, uh, I think it is just four cell, uh, sorry, it's a four cell, and yeah, I'm in the four cell there, and three cell, two cell, six cell, and five cell. So that's all right here on the, on the side here. This IMAX B6 is actually a true IMAX B6. It has the sticker on the back, uh, right there, and this one is the other one over here. That is my knockoff right there. So you can see it's a little bit dimmer. You can't really see it. Not sure what's going on there. It's pretty dim. I'm actually discharging this battery right now. Kind of see it now. I've got it at 0.8 of an amp on discharge, uh, just because if you look at the specs on these batteries, they don't really recommend you discharge them at one amp. Uh, you won't really get a true reading. They say to discharge each cell um, at around you know four milliamp. So that's what I'm doing now to get you know a better number uh, for uh, my my cells here. So. I built the 17.6 amp hour battery and if I would have did it this way, it's actually more like a 18 or 18 and a half amp hour battery. But I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not gonna go back to that battery. Uh, but what I have been working on is this battery right here and it's gonna be the same size. Uh, it's 13 cells um, by eight. So it's another 104 and it's gonna help out the batteries that I have now on the bike and uh, hopefully keep the battery a little bit cooler. Uh, when I'm running full blast, it tends to get pretty warm, so this will split that up and uh, make it run a little better. And also I've got this guy here, uh, this uh, PVC heat shrink. Pretty big stuff here, and this is what's gonna wrap both batteries. And I've got more than plenty uh, to mess with, so this stuff opens up you know, pretty big. And you can see by my hand here, it's good size stuff. So I, I should be able to wrap up the batteries with this material, and then heat shrink it down with a heat gun. So that is where I'm at. Um, sorry, I haven't posted any other videos for the past month, but been really busy with work and stuff like that. So um, I am slowly going through my stack of batteries that I have here. And these are the batteries that are pretty much just, they really won't take a good charge and um, they're like below one amp uh, on discharge, so I just kind of throw them in this box here. I'll just take them to recycle a little bit later, and I've still got quite quite a few hundred more to go in this box here. So um, got plenty to do. Just when I have some time to come down, just kind of switch out the batteries. That's what I do. I really don't let it consume me. Um, it's just I come home from work, I spend about five minutes on those batteries, throw them on here, charging, discharging, things like that, and I write them down them to the side and that's pretty much it so I'll go ahead and uh, also post a video um, of the battery bank that I'm building now I'm going to go in a little bit more depth on how I do it uh, especially wiring the BMS seems to be the biggest thing uh, people want to know how to do that uh, basically you're doing this right here um, and I'll show that next All right. All right guys, so here is explanation of how I hooked up my balancing uh, for to charge this bank of batteries. This is a four cell battery. Um, each cell has two 
uh, two batteries. So it's one, two, three, and then four. So they're basically doubling up on the amperage uh, for this pack here. And what I've done is I've hooked up my main positive and negative. Uh, positive obviously in the positive section of the, of the battery and the negative uh, on the negative side of this whole battery. So the balancing wires, I've got a four cell balancing wire. It's going to have five wires and a four cell balancing. So your first one, which is going to be the positive and the negative, um, sorry, the first one's going to be positive, the last one um, is going to be the negative, obviously. The red wire, it, I, I was lucky to get this harness because the red wire um, indicates, you know, obviously positive, and it's going to go directly to your positive lead, your main positive lead. The next one next to it, uh, which is uh, which is right there, is going to go after it. So it's going to look funky when you hook this up. It looks like you're going to the negative of this battery, but actually it's going to the positive of this battery. So because in line it connects back here and it just pops up right here. So I just utilize that. So you're basically now with this wire, you're balancing this pack. The one next to this one on that, on that connector right there. So now we're looking at number three from the red one. So you get the red one and then Two, and then the third wire goes to the back of this one which is charging now charging this bank so it, it is kind of confusing that that's why people have trouble with this and I completely understand it took me a few minutes to, to really look at it and understand what I was doing with this it's my first time hooking this up and uh, I, I, I kind of knew about this because of the first battery that I built and if you look at the diagram just study it really well before trying to hook it up because some of these you can really blow but anyways uh, so the fourth wire uh, here is obviously connected uh, to charge this this right here and then the last one is directly to your negative back here so that's pretty much how I hooked it up and it's a four cell but it has five wires so First wire goes to the positive, second, third, fourth, fifth. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, and then I've also got my, like I showed you a little bit earlier, uh, it's on uh, 4S. So these balancers are pretty smart. If you have it hooked up wrong, it'll let you know. Um, but just try and keep the wires in order when you hook these up because who knows, you could fry your, I, your iMax or any other charging that you have. So, um, if you guys have any questions, man, let me know and I'll, I'll draw it up and post it on my, my homepage if that helps you guys out. So, alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.